Jack Epling here with Dan Kilbridge, Full Court Press for 24-7 Sports. Dan, in Michigan State basketball, off to a 2-0 conference start, but the win over Northwestern a little bit scary. Looked pretty good for most of that game. They're thinking, oh, look, Cruz in the second half and picked this win up, and Northwestern gave them a little more than they bargained for there in the last two minutes. But uh, road in the Big Ten, it's always tough, so I think they're uh, you know, not completely satisfied, but happy to get out of there with the win. 63-50 lead, Michigan State had played about 35 minutes of very good basketball. And then some brain lapses and uh, some strange decisions gave Northwestern a chance to come back in and start hitting some threes that got very close at the end. But I think the big factor was the emergence of Keith Appling in that game and what he can mean to this team from a defensive standpoint. Five blocks, and I was talking to Kalen Lucas today about Appling. He said their first practice of the year on defense, Appling went out in the full court press and gave some pressure, and they had to explain, okay, we don't do that here. That's You're not going for the steal every time, but he has absolutely evolved into a great defender, and you're going to look at him. He's going to match up with Taylor Battle to start the game now that he's in that starting spot. I think that'll be a good test for him. Taylor Battle slowed a little bit last night, so we'll see how effective he can be, but I think Appling's defensive presence, five blocks against Northwestern, has just been a big surprise for this team and also a big reason that they've played well so far in the Big Ten. Michigan State playing a smaller lineup with Delvon Rowe at center and Draymond Green at the four position. They can use some wing rebounds from those guards and if Keith Appling at 6-1 can do that plus defend and Tom Izzo uttered the words Charlie Bell, which is high praise. And when I watched Appling as a senior in high school, the thing that impressed me most was his jumping ability and the way he was going after rebounds. And we've seen that translate here, and we did see a little nastiness from him at the end of that Northwestern game, getting into it with Crawford a little bit. And Izzo said, of course, he's from Detroit. You know, those kids, are they're all feisty down there coming from Pershing. And, uh, you know, that's something that I think Izzo looks for and really likes to see from a freshman, just that emotion. And obviously, he cares very much about the game. Well, after doing the radio work I have, anytime you can get into it with the Crawford, that's a good thing. But in terms of Michigan State and Penn State, it looks like Appling will draw the first shot at Taylor Battle. Taylor Battle coming off a horrible shooting game against Purdue. Uh, Penn State able to go on the road and, and get one win, but uh, winning at Indiana and beating a Michigan State team, very different challenge. Yeah, and they had a close close loss at home to Michigan so they haven't played as well and, and you look at them and as Tom Izzo would say they have some tall trees in the paint they've got a couple of forwards in Jeff Brooks and David Jackson Brooks averaging 13 points a game and they've been there four years those are senior guys experienced might give maybe Darrell Summers and those perimeter guys some trouble I think Delvon Rowe is going to match up with Jackson to start the game and then you've got Brooks maybe even Summers said he's going to guard a little bit so I think those guys maybe give them a different look and with battle to complement it should be you know a pretty decent road test for this team. Michigan State needs to get that second straight Big Ten road win then they come home and they get Wisconsin on Tuesday and that's a very important game. Michigan State really needs to be 5-0 and when they go on the road and face Illinois and Purdue. If they have any chance of winning a Big Ten championship, Ohio State looks absolutely awesome. It's hard to see them losing more than one or two games. And Michigan State does not get Ohio State here in Breslin. So. You know, I think that is a game where maybe we'll see Knicks more these next couple weeks. That big guy didn't play against Northwestern. That was just a bad matchup for him. But I think him and Sherman maybe get a little more involved in these next couple games here. Predictions for Michigan State, Penn State. I think Michigan State wins this one by 11. I'm going to say Michigan State 72, Nittany Lions 61. I'm going to say Michigan State 66, Penn State 58 at Bryce Jordan Center. Jack Ebling and Dan Kilbridge, Full Court Press for 24-7 Sports.